ओके बिस्मिलीम दीज आर द फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट लोअर लिम एम सी क्यूज विच कैन बी आस टू यू इन द एग्जाम क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज द कॉड्रिक्स ऑफ फीमोरस मसल ग्रोप इज फॉर्म बाई द रेक्टस फीमोरस वेस्टस लिट्रेलिस वेस्टस मीडियालिस एंड वेस्टस इंटरमीडियस विच आर द फॉलोइंग नर्व इन अवेर दिस ग्रोप ऑफ द मसल्स विच मसल विच नर्व शेटिक नर्व ओनली द फीमोरल नर्व इन अवेर्स द कॉड्रिक्स ऑफ फीमोरिस एंड शेटिक नर्व स्पेशली द टीबियल पार्ट सप्लाइज द पोस्टीरियर थाई मसल्स नॉट द एंटीरियर कंपार्टमेंट वेयर एज द ऑप्टरेटर नर्व सप्लाइज द मीडियल कंपार्टमेंट एंड सेफिनस नर्व does not supply any thigh of mathai muscles this is how you can uh, eliminate your answers in your exam okay this is the way to solve the mcqs now question 2 says at a 24 year old female motor car, motor cross uh, racer was involved in a in a crash that left her right leg pinned under her bike after the accident she she could not low no longer extend her right knee which of the following nerves was most likely affected femoral nerve why femoral nerve because femoral nerve supply the extensors muscles extensors of the knee are the quadriceps femoris muscles which attaches the to the tibia by the patellar ligament this muscle group supplied by the femoral nerve the sciatic nerve supplies the posterior thigh muscles not the anterior compartment obturator supplies the medial compartment uh and the saphenous nerve does not supply any or in, it does not give any innervation to any muscle but it is a cutaneous branch of the femoral nerve this can be asked to you in the viva question as well theek hai question number 3 is a, third, a 24 year old female uh, motor car motor car racer was involved in a car in a crash that her left that left her right pinned leg and her bite after the accident she could no longer extend her knee uh, the affected nerve gives rise to which of the following cutaneous nerves the answer is d saphenous nerve it is a cutaneous branch of the femoral nerve and it supplies the skin on the medial leg along the great saphenous vein middle clinical middle uh, middle middle uh, clinical as a posterior division of s1 to s3 A lateral femoral cutaneous is from L2 to L3 and the lumbar plexus, but it is not a femoral branch. Superficial peroneal nerve is a branch from the common fibular nerve. Question four is a 42-year-old old old man is admitted to the emergency department after his automobile hit a tree. He is treated for a pelvic fracture and several deep lacerations. Physical examination reveals the dorsi flexion and the inversion of the left foot. and extension of the big toe are very weak sensation from the dorsum of the foot skin of the sole and the lateral aspect of the foot has been lost and the patellar reflex is normal the foot is everted and plantar flexed which of the following structures most likely injured the answer is a the lumbosacral trunk at the linea terminalis the combination of the foot drop loss of dorsi flexion in the foot drop loss of dorsi flexion loss of uh, inversion and widespread sensory loss sole plus dorsum suggest both tibial common and common fibular uh, components are affected that uh, that indicates uh, that indicates an injury high in the pelvis at the lumbosacral trunk lower lesions neck of the fibular tibia in the popliteal fossa would not explain the broad sensory loss it means that the question comes to you with these uh, clinical uh, symptoms so you can easily identify which uh, lesion is this upper high lesion or lower lesion question number 5 a 23 year old man is admitted to the emergency department with a deep bleeding stab wound of the pelvis after the bleeding has been arrested uh, an mri imaging has been uh, done that gives evidence that the right ventral uh, primary rami of l4 has been transected which of the following problems will most likely be seen during the physical examination these are the options and the answer is a that is reduction or loss of sensation from the medial aspect of the leg the l4 ventral uh, ramus contributes to the femoral and obturator nerve it cuts produces 
sensory loss and along the medial leg by the saphenous branch of the femoral nerve achilles reflex is s1 not l4 thigh abduction is l5 to s1 gluteus medius not l4 question number 6 a 30 year old man suffered a superior gluteal nerve injury in a motor cycle crash in which his right lower limb have was caught beneath the bike he is stabilized in the emergency department later he is examined and he exhibits a wedding wedling gait and a positive trendelin trendelin berg sign which of the following would be the most likely physical finding in this patient obviously the superior gluteal nerve supplies the gluteus medius and minimus muscle which stabilizes the pelvis injury causes pelvis to sag on the contralateral side when the weight is borne on the affected limb this can be asked to you in the osp as well this is a or in the viva question as well that what is the trendelin berg sign and what is the wedling gait what is the difference between the two and the reason of a it that which muscles uh, due to the loss of the or injury of these muscles causes this position question number 7 a 45 year old man is treated at the hospital after he fell from his bicycle Radi- radiological examination reveals fractures of both tibia and fibula on physical examination the patient has a foot drop but normal eversion which of the following areas is most likely involved okay now see the question is Uh, this is deep fibular nerve peroneal nerve if they it could ask you that foot drop for is due to the foot drop is the different thing but eversion is normal so peroneus longus or brevis or superficial fibular nerve fibular is nerve is intact so it means that deep fibular nerve is uh, damage that causes the foot drop okay question number 8 is for a 49 year old male construction worker is admitted to, the, to admit is admitted to the emergency department with a painful lump on the proximal medial aspect of the thigh radiological and physical examination revealed that the patient had had a herniation of the abdominal viscera beneath the inguinal ligament into the thigh through which of the following opening will hernia of this type initially pass to extend from the abdomen into the thigh this is a femoral ring femoral ring a femoral hernia passes beneath the inguinal ligament through the femoral ring into the femoral canal that can emerge at the saphenous opening according uh, uh, secondarily it means this can be another question to you if they ask uh, that it is passing through the inguinal canal or the femoral ring then what will be the next pathway or you can say that uh, it is known as also known as saphenous opening is also known as fossa ovalis Question number nine. A thirty-seven-year-old man is admitted to the hospital after an injury to his foot while playing flag football with friends on a Saturday morning. Saturday morning means that he is uh, Saturday palsy is very common and it, it is asked to you in the viva question as well. What is Saturday palsy and in Saturday's palsy which muscles got get affected and the nerves causing this uh, a type of injury. A series. Uh, but let's now talk about the bcq a series of radiographs demonstrates a fracture involving the talo talo crural tibio talar ankle joint which movements at the major wants to be affected by this injury now the answer is a talo uh, ankle joint is a hinge joint permitting primarily dorsi fraction or plantar fraction inversion eversion occurs primarily at the subtalar transverse joint the answer is a a means plantar flexion and dorsi flexion is damaged 10 question number 10 after a uh, uh, after dividing the overlying the superficial tissues in gluteal musculature in a 68 year old female patient the orthopedic surgeon carefully identified the underlying structures while performing a total uh, hip arthroplasty the key landmark in the gluteal region relied upon in surgical exploration of this area is provided by which of the following structures the answer is d that is piriformis muscle it is a very common question that can be asked to you in the viva as well okay so this should be remembered by you people that uh, piriformis muscle is very important uh, in the gluteal region it is a key landmark it as it divides the greater sciatic foramen into the supra piriform and infra piriform spaces that organize uh, vessels or nerves d 
piriformis muscle in the gluteal region the, the, the this, these are two are the same lines now i'm going to make an other part of the video <laughs>